you've seen us catch Thanks online get some bread. Hey, get some again, bread. Men who use the internet to target children for sex. Just in case something happened, you brought content. Doomsday time, Airsoft. In small town America, the unexpected happens. We keep getting guys on the schedule okay. a couple hours out. As it gets closer, they something changes their mind. Could this predator bust turn into a bust? Anybody that does surveillance knows it's sit and wait. But then that's the whole point of surveillance, yeah. Traveling long distance. I imagine nothing else. What makes a man drive two hours? Somebody want to meet me, and I want to meet them. Like with outrageous alibis. My intention is to. Befriend her and try to mentor her. It's a new location. But the same shocking behavior. Let's get in there, Chris. The candidate for your foot. Again, playful chat. With the same. I look like the guy from Cobra Kai, Daniel. This is Predator Raw. We're in Greenville, Ohio. Thanks the resub, Jin. Which is in dark. And sleep well, Harry. You come. Locals, no friends. Can't like click links, Scotty. Thank you for the ten gift subs again, Bob. We have a rather friends. high profile when we come into a small oh, damn, town. Bob, thank you. All right, let me get this camera. I'll well, put a mount on the bottom with butyl. We move into this house to do our investigation, and there's guys with Thanks, cables insane. and climbing up poles and setting up ladders and doing things. It, uh, I think, did raise a little suspicion in this uh, in this quiet neighborhood. So, uh, day one came and seemed fine. Welcome! Hey, Nathan? Yeah? I just cut the crap out of my toe. I'm getting a band-aid. Hold up the kitchen counter for a second, okay? I like how she's case, method acting. A, he can't see her and she's still limping. With the computer watchdog group. She's ready. She's committed. It's decoys going to chat rooms, posing as 12, 13, 14, 15 year old kids. Uh, home alone. I'll be right back down. Would you do me a favor and just go have a seat right in the other side of the bar, please? And take your hands out of your pockets for me. Go ahead, have a seat. Yeah, that was checking out. As the potential predator walks in, there's a whole other investigation starting outside the house. The sheriff's department is moving into position. Nice, Panda trying to monitor what's going on so there are no surprises. The police are set up in a house across the street. There's a motor home. You know, they've got the entire area covered. What are you doing here? Came to visit somebody. Who did you Ooh. Visit? Katie. Katie. He's mean How mugging. Thirteen. Thirteen. <gasps> and how old are you? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Nice. Do you see a problem with that? Only problem is you're here, Chris. Ruined it. That's yes. Mm -hmm. And w what is the problem that you see? She's thirteen. I mean, there seems little doubt as to what you wanted to do here, based Thanks upon the prime, Joe. You could stay up late, sleep in your dad's bed, try on his girlfriend's clothes, underwear included, or run around the house nude. <laughs> what? What? Instant messaging allows for a way to talk differently. Talk differently. You're not actually facing the person, so you don't have to deal with the embarrassment of saying those sort of things to their face. So it doesn't bother you I am 13? No, it's cool. You get into very graphic detail mm -hmm. about what you want to do to her. Fantasies dreamed up online or in your mind. Things you might not be able to willingly do when it comes down he to He sounds it. like he's voice Nathan acting Dowell a character. starts out saying, look, this is just all fantasy. And I wasn't really going to act on it. Ooh, and, Jesus, and Jaeger. Well, I said, it really wasn't that Whoa. bad anyway. Then I start going back through the chat. And Thank I'm you, Jaeger, for the 50 gift subs, man. Quite explicit. Well, after Holy I remove shit. your shirt and bra, I will run my hands along your body's smooth skin. And yeah, I think that's okay. I will gently tap them like your soft breasts, there. kiss them, and run my tongue along them. Mm -hmm. And it goes on mm -hmm. from there. In graphic detail. What are we to make of? Really appreciate it, Jaeger. Thank you, man. Now you have my heart pumping and my blood racing. I just remembered, please don't tell anyone that we might have sex or if we do have sex. We would both be in a lot of trouble. I know it's wrong. 
but I want to tell you that I think it would be worth the risk. What should happen to you? I'm not sure. I don't know what the law says about this. Well, it's illegal. Why is he talking like this? But it reminds me of like an old video game. I don't think game. Nathan had a clear understanding of how the law works in Ohio. Uh, what traveler. he thought was, okay, I might be in trouble for this chat, but I can't be arrested because I hadn't actually had sex with a girl yet. I just showed up. But that's not how the law works. Well, I know, but it's illegal. Makes the prime turt man. I'm sorry, Mr. Kingslayer. Well, thank you. To solicit somebody who's 13 for sex. Hmm. That I was unaware of. You were unaware of. Mm -hmm. You'll have to get your potions Why would you elsewhere. Think it would be Lawful to do something like that. It didn't catch my mind. It didn't catch your mind that it would be wrong for you as a grown man to come into this home where you thought a 13-year-old girl was home alone after this sexually explicit conversation. The law was broken because of what he said online. Right. The solicitation and the fact that he showed up. And his it bad acting or whatever the fuck that he's there doing. There really wasn't a young teenage girl in the house waiting for him to have sex. He, according to the authorities, was uh, was uh, breaking the law. Well, Nathan, there's something I got to tell you. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story about adults who try to meet underage boys and girls. Man, this guy just does not give a fuck. If you have anything else that you'd like to tell me, I'd be happy to hear it. If not, you're obviously free to walk out that door. Thank you. Anything else you'd like to say? No. Okay. <laughs> I finish my conversation with Nathan. He okay. leaves. Bye, Nathan. Sheriff's Thank arrested. you. Bye-bye. That He's was good. He's this good work. Nice. For, you got him. Step in the process, which is to be processed and, and ultimately thank you to five gift subs totally not i even did the five gift subs scotty what were your plans for Fuck, thank you today thank you for the gift sub again huh the resub alert and i came through the door i pretty much already reached a conclusion that this was something i couldn't go through with mm -hmm. i already i thought about the whole drive over here and so I figured I'd just tell her face to face that we could spend time together, watch a movie, whatever, but there wouldn't be anything beyond that. What were your plans? Uh, real as suave. As far as communicating? Our plans as far as we were communicating, or as far as I was thinking at the moment, mm -hmm. was a sexual activity. Okay. Uh-oh. But... Possible repercussions of that actual of actually doing it began to gnaw on my mind. I couldn't stop thinking about it. What would happen if I got caught? I was caught. The only thing he had on him was a pocket knife. Is there anything else? Is it tier one crocodiles? Under the left seat, there's a box of condoms unopened. I was Wait, what do you mean, Boogaloo? Something different. I just never used them. Do you have a girlfriend or anything? Nope. Nope. When's the last time you had a girlfriend? Never. Never. Oh, Nathan. Never. Have sex? No. Nope. Never. Oh. So you have a box of condoms with you. You've never had sex before. The whole plan was to have sex with this 13-year-old when you got here. Correct? That was the original plan. At this point, you're going to be charged with unlawful sexual conduct, attempted unlawful sexual conduct with a minor. What's the penalty? What's... It's a felony of the fourth degree. And it goes on my record, correct? So I'm going to be tried for it. Yeah. Nathan spent the night in the uh, Dark County Jail. He's and handling it all very well. He wants to engage in sex acts repeatedly. Jesus, wait, he, this he is still going on? treat the boy like his main woman. It was very intense. All right, quiet. They can take him right now he, before he leaves the state. It'll be a different county, but they got him. What is, what is going on here? In the east, like, all the way almost was... Go, uh, I think sure it's just like a th behind the scenes thing. That's not what I really care about. Thanks to resub Bryson Marlisle. Only username gift sub Griffin and Prime Cornflake. Don't worry, Nathan. I didn't think that was you. Predator poachers. They call predators' families on the spot and tell them. Is it like a YouTube channel or a show? Actually, I need to fill up my water. 
I haven't had water in like 40 minutes. Give me one second, I'll be right back. I'm back. Thanks to the resub, Nathan, and thank you, three ounces of whoop ass. Thanks to the resub, Awful Hero, and the gift sub again, Jaeger, and gift sub, Draco, and Jaeger again, and the gift sub, Griffin. Yeah, I just took a piss. A little tinkle. Are you going to call if you're coming or if you're not? Thanks to the gift we sub, We wanted Draco. to do something different in Ohio, so we found a very, very young-looking... 19 year old actress who would be in the house with us and pose as the on site decoy. But I'd really like to see you. We didn't think James Rutherford was going to show up. He had engaged in a long, explicit, suggestive webcam interaction with our decoy, showing little <laughs> parts of the body. Later, though, ah. he said, ah, I'm not sure this is the right thing to do. I was really looking forward to it. That's not fair. Thanks to Tier 1, Ethan. I'm so bored here. All of a sudden, bomb. this red Corvette comes down the driveway and parks right around back. Now, the way we had it set up was that we, the guy would park in front and walk around back. But he drove right up to the back door. So we all had to scramble into position. Okay, gotcha. I'm familiar with that approach. Come on in. Where are you? Oh, I'm just gonna go finish getting ready. I'll be right there. Where are you? I'll, I'll be right back. Just sit at the bar and I'll be right there. Come here. No, I promise I'll be right back. No, come here. Uh oh. Come uh oh. Come He's, he, he smells, uh, shut up. I you to come here. That's what I thought. Rutherford alluded to the potential of this being a setup, perhaps a, a police sting. He even talks PWG, about you what's know, that? maybe this is morally not the right thing to do, as infatuated as he said he was. Wait, what do you mean? But he Bolu? does it anyway, and I think it speaks to the level of addiction and compulsion some of these guys develop online. Do you have a seat right over there, please? Okay. So this is a Catholic girls' school teacher. I just came to hang out, really. You came to hang out, yeah. And you came to hang out with. I had a feeling this was what was going on, honestly. You had a feeling what was going on. Yeah. That you were smart enough to know, some sort of right? Setup. Yeah. A setup. a setup for what? Genius. I don't know, and I'll be honest with you, I didn't, I didn't come here for anything physical. I just was bored. I'm going through a divorce. I just wanted to get out of the house, honestly. So you couldn't go to a sports bar to watch a game? No, sports are for pedophiles, bro. And so you thought you'd come here to this house? Yeah! I knew it wasn't a good idea from the get-go. Who did you think you were going to meet here? Just this kid I've been talking to. This kid? I know she's a kid. How old? 13, 14. 13? And how old are you? Too old for a 13, 14 year old. Too old. And how old is that? 26. 26. Yeah, it'll do it. And you thought it was okay to come over here to visit a 13 year old girl home alone? No, I really didn't. But you're here. I know. I don't know why. Now I know yeah, I don't before know he walks in what Rutherford hey, well, thank does. Thank you, Max, him. and I hope everything's going well. Appreciate uh, it, man. He even talks about it in his chat. We think we have it nailed down, but you never really know. I mean, he could have said that just to gain the confidence of a, a young teenage girl. So when I talk to him about what he does for a living, I don't say, are you a... I ask him, what do you do? What do you do for a living, Jim? I'd rather not say. Jim? <laughs> I'd rather not say. Jim! Why don't you just tell me where you work? Who do you work for? I'll get to that in a minute. No, I'd, I'd really like to know. I'm sure I'm on TV or something right now. Yeah, why well, don't you just guess. tell me what you do for a living? I'm a teacher. You're a teacher. And what grade do you teach? Sixth grade. Sixth grade. Uh-oh. So you teach kids about the same age as Jim. the girl you were coming to see. I would never do anything. I don't know why I'm here. Can I go? I couldn't help but point out to him that he was coming to Thanks visit a girl 
who was basically the same age as the kids he taught in a private Catholic school near Cincinnati. And as a parent, as a journalist, as anybody, that's Nathan opposite. Next sub corset. You were on your webcam, showing off in front of this 13-year-old girl. Yeah, he's got a good physique. And the Strong man physique was bad. I that know. kids can I appreciate. Know. They can I play on his I big muscles. Help. You're cute too, definitely have a pretty face. For jailbait. Laugh I knew loud. it was wrong. I knew it was wrong. I'm sorry. I could be your teacher. Would you flirt with me? <laughs> she says, wink at you and stuff. Hee hee, okay. Cute. <laughs> You'd like that. I'd be flattered. Not like that's a bad thing, innocent enough. I knew I shouldn't have come. I knew I shouldn't have come. I'm sorry, man. I knew it. I. At some point, he turns this corner. And it goes from an interview with me to therapy session, a virtual counseling session. Yeah, I am going through a divorce. My wife mm -hmm. Thursday told me she was leaving me. Why? I don't know what spawned this. I mean, I was just in an Ohio chat room, an adult chat room, and this was a week or so ago, and she started talking to me. Yeah, but that doesn't make it right for you to I know. have this kind of I know. discussion. No, 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 it was an adult right. chat room, though, Chris. Is tough. You, Everybody gets yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm no, not gonna... Nobody's going to make fun of that, right? Well, I'm... Okay, it's not on good. On top of that, what kills me right now, I've thought about this a lot for years. Maybe I should just stop. Maybe I should get counseling. You've been a pedophile for how long now, Jim? It's not that big a deal. I've never mm. taken it to this step. I don't know if this week has just pushed me over the edge. Look, you're not the first guy to have an issue with the internet and sexually charged <laughs> conversation. <laughs> Addictions and compulsion. It's you're not, not the I first mean, pedophile on the internet, Jim. And but you will be the last. Is there some way you can help me? Well, I don't know that I can do that. I mean, will you, will you give me some of the information here and tell me what exactly is going on? Do you want to know what's going on? Do you ever watch television? Do you ever watch Dateline NBC? Oh, damn, I've seen one of these. You've seen one of these. Yeah. You know, that's, and that was what, one of the reasons I thought, why am I doing this? This could be a setup. I think it's tier one, why I watch anime in the prime, start going hamburger. Uh, previous programs on computer predators. I didn't think I was a predator. You're not, you just like sports and children. Physical. I know I talk, look, that was like oh, fantasy. Here. That was like I fantasy. I know, but everybody says that. But what's going to happen if I'm not here and the 13-year-old girl is? We're going to watch some sports, yeah, baby. Yeah, all charged up by seeing I know. this I know. gal on the uh, webcam. I Could I you. kiss you anywhere? I'm sorry. That'd but be I fun. Man, I you know it's on TV. I kiss it. I'm not a psychiatrist, but I've sensed that uh, these guys were relieved to get this off their chest. Thanks um, to the uh, Tier 1 Doe. To... to, to Tell folks. Jesus what Christ, I'm really sorry to hear that. Sadly. Sheriff's Department, stop putting your hands on your head. It's I terrible. You Hope everything's all right. Obviously, Wish you the best. I've admitted that, okay? That you have talked to minors before, 13 years of age. Do you masturbate while you're doing this? Oh, I guess you're electric. Okay. I have, yeah. So you're so driven by this, okay? But, sir, and it's not okay, like just it's. Just listen to me. Well, well, no, okay. I think I, I feel like I should at least tell you. It's not like it's. I go on there specifically looking for little kids. What ultimately happens to these people is not for me to decide. And in spite of, um, you know, what is an explicit chat and, and uh, what looks like uh, as we said, let your guy in the felony, tier two game slayer. charge, you know, what happens to them is up to the criminal justice system. I mean, that's, like that's not up to me. But Thanks to the gift sub again, Jaeger. To see somebody <clears throat> who could hurt a child or expose a child to an early sexual encounter that could scar that child for the rest of her life and be caught and deal with the consequences of that I think is a, is a positive thing. I imagine he also got fired would be my guess. Or not, I don't know. It, it is a Catholic school after all. The paramedic predator. Joe Rogan reacts, huh? I'm not a big meme guy. This is guy. one of those cases where my receiving the chat and the arrival of our guest came pretty close together. And so 
Delphi thanks to the Prime Sleepy. Me, Sleep uh, well, King. Chat log. He's kind of talking me through it yeah, and kind of giving me the background of who this guy is. Normally, I have more time to talk to him, but this all happened pretty quickly. Coming, so, you know, she's whispering, and I'm taking notes, and I'm going through the thing, and I'm highlighting the pertinent portions of the uh, transcript. You know, getting ready, because this guy's coming in the door. Welcome! Hey, come on in. I just cut my toe when I ran out there, because there's rock on the ground. Let's go put a Band-Aid on it, okay? Where are you at? I gotta go get a Band-Aid for a bleed all over the rock. Oh, okay. Hey, why don't you to hang out? Uh, have a seat right in the other side of the bar for me, will you? Keep your hands out of your pockets. Come on, just go over and have a seat, please. No, 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 sir. Right here, please. Oh, almost snuck away on him. What's going on? Uh, Thanks to give some humpo and the resub solo shaky and what blue shinry. you to get things started? Uh, Tell me what was happening. I don't know. You don't know? I do, I'm sorry. You're sorry for what? You're a freaking idiot. An idiot. What do you do for a living? Paramedic. A paramedic? Yeah. Now, in your chat here, you essentially say you're a firefighter. Yeah. Don't you think that might impress a 13-year-old girl? <laughs> <laughs> it impresses a lot of people, to be fair, Chris. It's pretty cool. What was your plan here today? I don't know. I had a report of the a you fire. Know. I seriously don't know. Well, and I was just coming like to put it out. Based upon this chat. Want me to rub your feet? No, yeah. no. When you see a passage like prime that Ludi in Dust. a chat log where an adult right, thank you, Pug. asks a child to do something like that. I appreciate it, Max. Well, thank feet. you. That's like a power trip. The non getting right. turned on, you say? Well, not really a power trip, it's just How a do I know fetish. You're not a cop? Weird one. I'm not a cop. How do I prove it? Call my cell and leave a sexy message. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Something to turn me on. How about firemen are sexy? Laugh out loud, okay. It takes it a step further than, than uh, <laughs> you know, being sexually excited. Nice. It takes, like, control this kid by making them do something. They said five gift subs, it's, Goblin. It's disturbing. Appreciate it, man. What would have happened if I had not been here? I would have done something stupid. With a 13-year-old girl? I don't know, probably. If a 13-year-old uh -oh. girl Uh-oh. Yeah. What should happen to you? Do you know that it's illegal? Uh, I know my career is probably over. To do this? No, you can just say there was a fire in her panties and you're coming up. Put that shit out. A 13-year-old girl? I know. What if this was your younger sister? And somebody walked into I'd be pretty upset. the home where she was oh, alive. Oh, yeah. When she was alone. I, I know. Um, I'm a real protective of her, hey, well, too. thank you, Hila. Appreciate it, you know, man. Good like, to see you. I hope you're doing well. You probably think I'm stupid. Thanks for resub something else. By this, but... So you have a younger sister. She's 18. Yeah. 18. And she's 18, and you're protective of her. I, and here so you are. I don't know. I mean, tier it amazes one stable. me that they're very protective of their own yeah, I agree, Scotty. children in their lives. Yet they're willing to go do this with somebody else's child. Well, there's a couple things you need to know. Yeah. Do you ever watch television? Yeah. Do you ever watch Dateline? Dateline? Dateline NBC? Oh, what the fuck is that? Have you ever seen our stories on computer predators? Yeah, I've seen it. This is one of them. Oh, no. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline. If there's anything else you want to tell me, no. I'd like to hear it. No, it's okay. If not, you're obviously free to leave. You'll have to move him yourself, so Chris. You can, you can go ahead. No, please, let me see him. Oh, he's got a good strat. So I'm going to have to ask what you're going on. He doesn't want to leave. He knew that it was likely that once he left, he would be arrested. Can you follow me out there? We're not going to follow you out. No, can you, please? Chris, well, hold his hand, me, bro. I, I don't think we can follow you out, no. Well, I'm just asking you to talk to me. I'm sorry? I'm just asking you to talk to me about the camera. I, I can't turn the cameras off, no, sir. I'm sorry. Why not? Please. Because I can't once they get turned on. They run forever. Please, I'm just asking you. No, I, I'm telling you. I'm just unfortunately unable Thanks to the recent killer bee in heart. He gets up and slowly makes his way to the door. Uh, I got him. You got him. 
he's arrested and, and taken away for processing and, and uh, an interview with detectives. What did uh, you and Kat discuss or plan specifically to do once you met her knowing she was 13 years old? Train her to be a firefighter? Kiss, and then Kiss, rubber feet, stuff like that. Rubber feet? Yeah. <laughs> it's hard not to feel compassion for a guy in that, in that situation crying like that. But again, you know, you go back and read the chat log and you feel a little less sorry. Yeah. That'll do it. Hey, all things considered, Jason, got off real easy. Role-playing chat room predator. Oh. We're doing a little RP. The man walking in our back door is 21-year-old David Schumacher, screen name Freebird72000. He's been chatting online with a decoy posing as a young teen named B. Hey, come on in! Our 19-year-old actress, the decoy playing B, invites him in. <laughs> online, he invites the girl who told him she was 14 I and love the sideways to hat. a birthday party. And from his online chat, it appears he has his sights on a party for two. I want to be your first, baby. Okay. You're going to put my in your mouth? Because I like that. I guess I can try it. <laughs> Just let me drive, baby. I'll show you heaven. <laughs> He goes on to talk about having different kinds of sex with the virgin, and then gets almost poetic. What kind of birthday party would he take her to? Time? What's the difference? It's just raw passion, and making love is a connection of bodies, I guess. Freebird Wouldn't like his friends be like, bro, why the fuck is there a ten-year-old here? He's going to bring marijuana. No, I was in a role-playing chat room, dude. Awaiting trial to this day? Fourteen years later? words, role-playing chat room, dude, because... The girl was role-playing, man. We checked with perverted justice and were told he met the decoy in a Florida romance room, not a role-playing chat room. And the transcripts of his online chats and phone calls were enough for police to charge him with a felony. Even after he's placed in the police car, he goes on talking. I'm not, I'm not guilty, man. I, do I look like I need 14-year-old girls? I don't need 14-year-old girls, dude. I got all kind of girls. No, he definitely doesn't. That's spoken like a man that gets no girls. It turns out there was at least one thing he said earlier that turned out to be true. I happen to know law enforcement. You do see he has quite a long rap sheet. Uh-oh. In 2002, he led police on a high-speed chase in a stolen car. He was also convicted of grand theft and trying to sell the stolen goods. And twice, he was convicted of battery. Well, I'm trying to stay out of trouble. Well, I only came, the true thing. I only came up here for about the. the Is he a now, YouTuber now? For my boy, but I got um jammed up. Um, here he is, about to get in trouble yet another time. <laughs> hey man, I don't want. I don't want to um be on on a new film. Listen. Am I being held up here? I happen to know. I so, to know is he in jail still? God him. damn. This is a long sheet here. I got two words for NBC role playing chat room. I, right, y'all. Because, man, the girl was role-playing. Is he a vlogger? Thanks for the Tier 1 Milky Man, the Tier 1 Zekros, and the Tier 1 Sir Elf. Thanks for the Tier 1s. And then the state tried to commit me on, on that Florida shit. I just spent six months incarcerated. No legal grounds for them to do so. The only thing that fucking prompted the whole thing really was Dayline shit. Good breakfast. Fact is, motherfuckers, Dateline, put words in my mouth. And when I called them on it, yeah, guess what they did? 
and girls. Today, we're gonna have a lesson on civics and what it means to have rights in America. Oh God. He is. Too many of you motherfuckers are ready to hand over your motherfucking rights and let them just walk all over you for what? And then you stand there and sit there in judgment so what's the conclusion? He just makes a YouTube vlogs now. Constitution, bro. Hating ass. Today. Oh, we were in role playing chat room. God damn it. No, I don't know. There's no way. Oh, well, maybe. I don't fucking know. Next to the prime Spartan and Spilua. He's anti vaxxer. Well, no. No doubt about that. Absolutely no doubt about that at all. Thanks to Prime Hydra. Mm, what time is it? It's already 1.53. Yeah, I'll watch one more. Thanks to Prime Justin and Reese of Small Meat. Or I might watch five or six more. I don't know. We'll see. You've seen I thought it was later. Online predators. I didn't come here for anything. Thanks to Tin Gift the Subs, Grizz. Appreciate it, man. Internet to arrange for sex with children. <laughs> Thanks now, to the tier one the you haven't disposable. Seen. Are you going to call if you're coming or if you're not? The defendant will commit future sex offenses. From the heartland of America, more surprise confrontation. BS talk got you sentenced to prison. Bizarre behavior. What were you doing with your pants there? You ask if she does anal. It's a question. And busted mm -hmm. suspects mm -hmm. with nowhere to run. Don't just be shot. This is Predator Raw. When we first started this, I thought, uh, you know, we'd do two, maybe three investigations. And at some point, um, we'd have nothing but video of me pacing in a kitchen someplace. Guys would get the message. Good video, though, Chris. Me. That would be cool. We had been to tier one locations for Dabbled investigations Oya. that were near big metropolitan areas. We wanted to find out if this was also a problem in America's heartland. So we went to Dark County, Ohio, uh, right near Greenville. Thanks to the resub. I think the yeah, county has a population come. of something like 13,000. The prime right. we set up to see what would happen. By the time the investigation was over, we learned the that prime how I met your in Mundo. this little town in Ohio, this was a problem. Put it down. Put your hands in the air. Turn around. Turn around. I'm going to read you your rights. Do you have any questions? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say. When does the ghillie suit guy all? come out? Still right, haven't seen him yet. Watch your head, okay? Watch your head. Thank you for the five gift subs, Marsha. Thank you, Marsha. Thanks to the prime with the computer black one. Dog I don't do it justice. She's got the guy. It's decoys going to chat rooms, posing as 12, 13, 14, 15 year old kids. Hey, well, I appreciate that, Agent. Uh, Thank alone. you, man. Uh, open to the idea of a uh, sexual liaison in a meeting. Uh, but they go into chat rooms and they just wait. And they never make the first contact. Where is the female teacher sometimes predator? Sometimes, in a matter of minutes, a man is approaching. I don't think online. there's ever been a single online female predator on this show. And, sexual, and the next thing you know, a meeting is set. Thanks to Brian Otaku. I have a oh, Probably a vanilla cookie, I guess. I don't know. Come on in, man. I just whacked my toe on the banister. Where are you? I hit my toe on the banister. And, oh, I gotta go get a band aid. Now I'm bleeding, and I'm gonna get shot if I bleed on the rug. Hang out the Thanks to Tier 1 login. Like that, all, right? all right. Sorry. Because we are out in the country, these guys in some cases had to drive. A couple hours or more. Yeah. And Alonzo Wade was one of those guys. He turns towards the door and he's doing something with a zipper. Now, I still to this day don't know exactly what his plan was. He might have been getting ready to go outside to relieve himself. Or That's probably what it was. You know, been plotting something else. But he did pull down his zipper before he turned around and walked uh, to the bar. Oh, you're tonight. All right. Just do me a favor and uh, put a seat right around that stool. Yes, sir. Now, what were you doing with your pants there when you... Oh, it was just door. touching the tip of my penis. Uh... Were you hiding something in your pants? No, there ain't nothing. Look, I'll show you everything. Here. Well, I don't... <laughs> you didn't see oh, everything. Well, no, you should... Well, Chris. Now my zipper came down. Let him see. Right. Well, you brought quite the selection tonight. Yes, sir. Thanks to Tier 1 Mac and... Well, Mac and James. All of this is yours. Yes, sir. A lot of these guys are just trying to do their best to get out of a bad situation. So they're trying to make up their story on the spot. Alonzo Wade tried to tell me that 
uh, this alcohol was for him. Yeah. And you just thought this would be a nice warm place to drink it? Well, no, sir. She... They use the tin gift subs, Bellum. Thank you, man. Yeah. Appreciate it, and Bellum. who is she? Uh, what is it? her online name? Bush Girl or something like that. Bush Sucks Girl. That's it. That's it. And who are you? Alonzo Hampton Wade. I'll show you my ID. Alonzo Hampton Wade. And Alonzo, how old are you? 40. 40. I, I told her how old I was. Yeah. And how old is she? She told me she was 15. 15. Yes, yeah, sir. I just wanted a place to drink. I wasn't going to do nothing. You didn't have any place to drink, so you thought you'd come here. Yeah, yeah where is he supposed to drink, Chris? Just to hang out and drink. Yeah, sir. Yeah. You're going to drink? No. Some See, of that was you can't away. drink without a child oh, around. Oh, yeah. Were you going to give any to the 15-year-old? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't do that. Then you i got a 15-year-old daughter myself. You've got a 15-year-old daughter yourself? Yes. I just wanted a place to sit and drink. Why couldn't you drink at home? Well, my daughter's got her friends there, and I don't like drinking in front of her. So you thought you'd come over here and drink in front of another 15-year-old no. girl who's not your daughter? Yeah. yeah. My intentions. My intentions was to not... Well, well, yeah, my intentions was to drink in front of a... 15-year-old girl? Yes, I see what you're saying. Does that make any sense? No. <laughs> so why don't you tell me why you were willing... I used to tear one to little dimmy. To drink. Yeah. All right. So now let me ask you this. You're here in this house. Where you believe a 15 year old girl is home alone. <laughs> you bring the booze into the house. Right. How would you feel if while you're over here, some 40 year old guy is at your house bringing booze to your 15 year old I'd say, girl. why is a four year old guy bringing booze to my house and how did he get you there? Tell me. Well, I was in the same problem, same way you feel right now. So why is it okay for you to do it? It ain't. I don't know why I did it. I just wanted to party, that's all. So just party. Mm -hmm. And there's no 40 year olds to party with. Well, Nobody who's grown up who you can party with in the whole state drink. of Ohio. Well, I didn't say in the whole state, but go where I'm from. Alonzo Wade tried to tell me that he was not there to have sex with a, with a 15-year-old girl. Now, at some point... A little bit legit. He cracks a little bit and says, well, maybe he would. True, Seenan. And I say to him, well, what is it? Yes, no, maybe so. It so, appears yeah. to be clear from this transcript that yeah. you are open to the idea of having sex with this girl. No. It, well, it appears, yes. Would I? No. Or maybe. All right. Maybe. <laughs> what is it, Alonzo? Yes, maybe so. Maybe. I yeah. haven't seen her yet, Chris. I mean, it depends on what she looks like, I guess. And I was drunk enough. I'm not going to say I wouldn't. I'm not going to say I would. I can't say what I would do. Chris, let him get a couple brewskis in him, and we'll ask him again. With Dateline NBC. Oh, I understand. And we're doing a story yeah. on adults going on the internet, right. trying to hook up with teens. Right. Now, you can see the cameras coming in. And right. Thanks for the gift sub, right, Brad? Finishing the interview, I say, you know, what do you think should happen to you? I should go to jail. Put it down. Put your hands in the air. Hands in the air. Turn Thanks for the prime, Jay. Turn the Dark County Sheriff's the Department sub, in Angel. Ohio was running a parallel investigation. Thanks for the resub, so G-Man. I finished talking to the men who arrived at our hidden camera house, uh, they would leave and they would be arrested. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present during questioning if you wish. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Ah, so you haven't watched it yet, have you, Lula? It's not an actual female teacher. We just watched that one. It's not a female teacher. It is... Let me bring it up again. It is... This guy. Really? Yeah, it's not a... I, I, I'm pretty certain there's never been a female predator. Is it tier one grunkle in the prime T man and resub man bun? <sighs> there sure are though. Well, yeah, I didn't mean there's never been a female predator in the history of pedophiles. Obviously not. I meant on the show. They were never able to catch one. Oh no, we're dangerously close to finishing! No, fuck! Shit! Make sure to smash that like button and thumbs up, ring the bell, tell your mom I said hi.
yeah, that's about it. See ya.